everyone, my name is Claire. And I'm Lucinda. We're the co-founders of Pummel and Need, which is an on-site massage company offering treatment packages directly to the workplace. However, following the advice of the government and the World Health Organization, we've taken the decision to suspend all packages and all on-site visits until it's deemed safe for our clients, our staff and ourselves to recommence work. Obviously this is a weird time, sorry, that's just my dog barking in the background. Um, so as I was saying, this is a weird time for everyone. We're just all having to adapt to new environments, new life and working from home a lot of the time. So we thought it would be quite good to offer a series of videos. We're going to try and do one once a week which will help with um, things like posture, stress management. Um, we're going to be showing you some self-massage techniques, uh, a few little things like that, just to help you adapt to your new surroundings and also help you cope mentally. So watch this space. The first one will be coming out very soon and this will be about breathing and how important it is to focus on our breathing and um, give ourselves time to slow it right down. These videos will be made available on all of our platforms, so don't forget to check them out. Hello. So the first video, which is also being joined by Soup Dog, our soup dog is going to be all about breathing and how we can use breathing as a form of relaxation and to help with stress and anxiety. The problem is when we're stressed, and I think you can probably hear it a little bit in my uh, chest today, um, the, the breathing gets impacted and we start to breathe these shallow and short breaths which are, are not very good for our stress levels. So by using a really simple technique called the two to one breathing technique, we can turn this sort of stress and anxiety breathing into relaxation breathing, which is really useful. The two one breathing technique is done by inhaling and exhaling through the nose. So you begin by picking a number, for example, the number three, you would breathe in for the count of one, two, three, and then you would then double this for the exhalation. So you would breathe out one, two, three, four, five, six. It's often useful to begin by establishing your own natural breathing pattern. And this makes it a little bit easier when it comes to changing up to the two one breathing technique. So for example, if we take the count of four and take a nice slow deep breath in for four and breath out for four. Okay, so we're gonna give the two to one breathing technique a go. So what I would suggest is you sit really comfortably Maybe give your shoulders a little bit of a roll, your mind cracking. Maybe bring the shoulders up to the ears and let go. So breathe in and out. Just get yourself really comfortable. You can also do this lying down. And when you feel super confident with the technique, you can close your eyes which will aid with the self, uh, you know, self-awareness of the breath and greater sense of well-being. So you really want to just kind of give yourself this time to yourself, try and have sort of not too many distractions around, even though I know that's hard because we're all um, sort of living on the top of each other at the moment. But anyway, and also what the last thing is, try not to do these short shallow breaths that I've been talking about. Try to breathe slow breaths from the sort of diaphragm area and I'll just stand up so you can see what I mean. So this sort of area and also you can do it from the stomach. So nice deep breaths. So not from here, short sharp breaths, but nice deep breaths from the, the diaphragm area which is just sort of under the ribs. 
and your stomach just to calm that breath down. So we're going to start with the number three. Actually, no, let's start slow. Let's start with the number two. So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in through the nose for two counts and then breathe out through the nose again, not, not through the mouth, for four counts. So we're just going to demonstrate that now. So Okay, very simple, really easy. And you can do that for as many times as you like. I would say maybe do it three times at least with that count. And then you can move on to the next count. So that would be the count of three. So we would breathe in for three, again through the nose, and out for six, again through the nose. So let's try that one. Here we go. Already I feel a lot more relaxed after just doing those demonstrations so it really does work so give it a go guys. When we exhale we're activating the parasympathetic nervous system which is the body's relaxation response so by using this breathing technique we really are helping to alleviate stress and anxiety within the body. Uh, variation on this technique can include holding a count or several counts in between the inhalation and the exhalation. So for example, if you took two as your base, you would inhale for two, hold for one count, and then exhale for four, which I'll demonstrate now.